Hey, good mornings, everybody. Happy Friday. It's Daryl here. It is bright and freaking early, man. It's 3.30 a.m. here in Connecticut on the East Coast. Man, I could not get out here fast enough to do this story this morning. It was one of those days where I started looking through all the news feeds, and it didn't take long before I came across a story on TMZ. And the links will be down below. And this is about Trace Cyrus, Miley Cyrus's brother. Now, I've never really heard of this guy. He's 34 years old. He's in a band called Metro Station. Who appear, and apparently they have a song called Shake It, which is about getting busy with uh, encouraging women to shake it and getting busy with them. There's a reason I'm saying that. Okay, recently Trace Cyrus was on X and he posted some of his opinions and uh, they are very chauvinistic I don't know. I I I I I, I want to say southern, um, uptight, insecure opinions about women on, and he's talking about women on OnlyFans, and he talks he talks about how women that are on OnlyFans have pretty much ruined their chances of ever getting getting wifed by a successful man. That uh, they're pretty much they he didn't say this, but they're pretty much looked at as used goods, as damaged goods, and no decent. A uh, good, successful man will want to wife them. Uh, <laughs> man, I could not get out here fast enough to talk about this. Now, this guy's all 34 years old, okay? And there's, I, I know I'm gonna, there's going to be so much that I, I have so many thoughts on. I'm going to read you what he said. And I have so many thoughts on this. I know I'm going to forget some of them. I mean, there's the double standard here that, you know, you, you'll see what I'm saying. You know, pretty much guy, he didn't mention a word about the guys on OnlyFans. Not a peep. So I guess it's, you know, it's it's fine. The guys want to go on OnlyFans and, you know, show off their body and do whatever on OnlyFans. That's fine. They can still get a great wife. You know, that, that doesn't apply to them. And then he goes on and he, just, he talks about having to pay to watch OnlyFans. And that's only desperate guys will do that. And as I read this, I start I start getting the feeling. I'm like, who, who are you kidding? Are you telling me you never looked at... Uh, adult material. Oh, wait, wait. He only looked at adult material that was free. So he's cheap. Uh, you know, he, he, did, he draws this line between, you know, the only people that pay to look at adult material are desperate loser guys. And, uh, oh man, I just got, got so much to say about this. And one of the biggest things, so at the end of this, this tirade, I'm going to, I'm going to read to you. He says that there's uh, so much more happiness in settling down with a good man and, and getting wifed. You know, that women will settle down and having a family and a good man, then only fans will ever bring you being lonely. And uh, it, it's very toxic for, for women to do this. They, they need to settle down with a good man, you know. And another thing that came to my mind is I'm 50, I'm 57, going on 58. I'm single. I'm happy. Of course, I'm a man. I don't know how much of a difference that makes to Trace Cyrus. But here's the big thing. People change. You know, like 30, 30 years ago when I was his age, I was a full-blown addict, full-blown addict and addicted to adult material too. And I am a completely different person today. People change. The, the girlfriend that I just had, Audrey, she was an alcoholic and uh, you know, she changed. People change. He's making these, he's a 34-year-old Boy, and that's another thing. He calls women girls throughout this whole thing, which kind of even bothers me. You know, people change. You know, at 34 years old, he thinks he's he thinks he's got a whole picture of, you know, how a good wholesome country should have married people, and women will be much happier if they settle down. Here, here, let me read it to you. I'm gonna have to stop because I got so many opinions on this. This poor, and then okay, just one more thing. I, I got. I came across a couple of pictures of this guy, and I don't want to put him down. One of the pictures, he looks fairly decent. He's a decent-looking dude. Another picture, I'll use these two pictures on my thumbnail. The other picture, man, oh man, I don't know what they, I don't know what they have for barbers or hairstylists down in Kentucky, but his haircut and oh, and the tattoos on his face. I wonder if that changes the the, the chances of him getting a good woman, a good woman to settle down. That he's got tattoos all covering all over his chest, his, his neck, and his face. That. You know, I wonder if, you know, because there's women I've dated, certainly, that wouldn't want to take this kind of guy home to their family. But what do I know? I'm just an old man. But anyway, let, let, me re let me read this. This is Trace Cyrus, Miley Cyrus's brother on X, speaking about women who uh, are on... Oh, and then not to mention, on, he doesn't even bring up the fact that women need to, to earn their own income. 
Well, I, well, I guess in his world, they get a good man to earn the income for them. But, you know, a lot of this, a lot of the people, I, I assume that a lot of people on OnlyFans are doing it solely for, as an income, as an income source, as a gig, as a side gig. Uh, you know, I think maybe he lives in a world where money's not an issue. I think that's also a, a possibility. In his world, women just go on here to find guys. That's the only reason they go on Only OnlyFans. They, they, they get an OnlyFans site. I, I think that's probably one of the last reasons. I think that's the last reason women, any women, go on OnlyFans. All right, let me read you this. This is Trey Cyrus's opinion of women on OnlyFans. Uh, there... There are so many girls that do OnlyFans that have lost their chance of ever settling down with a good guy with morals. Now, here's another thing that came to mind, too. All of the, the priests, the reverends, the uh, pastors, the televangelists who have been caught. I'm, like I said, I'm 57 years old. I can't even count. I don't think I can even count the pa on one hand. All the reverends, pastors, all the supposedly good men with morals that have been caught cheating, have been caught... Uh, purchasing favors, uh, being caught in hotels. So this, this whole thing about men with good morals. Uh, okay, there are so, so many girls that do OnlyFans. They have lost their chance of ever settling down with a good guy with morals. They will try to call these guys insecure for having standards. She's talking about the guys like, guys like him that are calling out there, there, there are so many girls that do OnlyFans that have lost their chance of ever settling down with a good guy with morals. They try to call these guys insecure for having standards. They said they get a lot of attention from guys on OnlyFans so that they think they, they have options. But any guy who is so desperate to see sexual content that they are willing to pay for it is a desperate loser. So I'm guessing here he holds himself above all these other guys. I, 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 unless he's trying to say that he never looks at adult material. But because he doesn't pay for it, he's a whole different kind of guy. You know, he, he's, he's, a, he's, a, you know he, he's one of these good guys with morals because he doesn't pay to see the content. Like that makes, that makes a big difference. Uh, okay, a, a lot of successful guys will sleep with these girls, but they won't want to wife them. Oh, man, I, I, up north here, I, I've, I've almost, I don't think I've ever heard that term, wife, wife them, like it's a verb, uh, you know, uh, yeah, and successful guys, you know, they, like, because the girl's sole, sole goal in life is to land a successful guy to take care of them, wow, wow, what, did, where did this guy grow up, oh, Kentucky, that's right, uh, I see a lot of these girls speaking out, on uh, speaking out on this now saying they can't get a, in a serious relationship it's because men see the value the value he, he talks about women like their property he, he says he does this several times he, he said the, the value of a woman it's because men see the value in girls solely for sex they don't look at these women and equate them equate equate their value as a future wife to wife them, you know, he didn't say wife them, mother or loyal partner. I know some amazing girls that are generally good people that do only fancy right there. I think he catches himself because he, you know, he, he probably knows a lot of, he probably does know a lot of girls and he thinks to himself, oh boy, I just got, you know, these, these, all my friends are going to hate me now. So he kind of backpedals there, I think. You know, it's, 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 well, I know a lot of girls, a lot of girls that do only fans that are amazing girls, you know, trying to backpedal a little bit. Uh, you know, a lot of amazing girls that are generally good people at the OnlyFans. I just think their independent mindset set of not needing a man is extremely toxic. You know, so I, I, that's, that's just hilarious. It's toxic because they don't need, need because they don't need a man. Okay. Uh, and leads to a very lonely future. At 34, 34 years old, it's so amazing how this, this son of a famous music star who probably, I don't know if he's ever worked or dug a ditch or drove a truck or done a real day's work in his life, but it's amazing how this 34-year-old guy has just got everything figured out from beginning to end about men and women and loyalty and marriage and everything. He's got it all figured out. Okay, at least a very long, I hope more girls continue to speak up 
about this so other girls know the risk that they're getting into. Ah, having a good man and a family will bring you more happiness in old age than, than only fans ever could. At 34 years old, he knows, he knows old age. He knows about people like me. He, yes, I must, I, oh, I'm a guy, so I, I, maybe I'm not, maybe a, it's a whole different standard here. You know, I've been, I've been single, well, that's, that's a long story. I, mean, I lost my last, my soulmate two years ago to COVID, but I've been single for two years and I have serious, I, I'm comfortable. I'm very comfortable. I don't know if I want to get another relationship because it's so nice being independent. And I assume women are people too. And I'm, sure there's, I'm, assume, I'm assuming there's a lot of women out there my age who are very content and happy and don't really have any urge to get into a relationship because, you know, women or, or girls, as he calls them, are actually people too with feelings just like guys, believe it or not. Trace, can you believe that? So he goes on. He goes on, and he, so a, 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 he gets a million uh, comments. This is on Twitter, and he goes on to comment about how a lot of the people that that went off on him on Twitter also have OnlyFans accounts. So it's like I know where you know I we know where they're. I know that it's only fans that are bragging on me about this, and uh, you know. He, so he's all upset about it. And he, it hurt his feelings. So he says this. He, here's another post. I stand on everything I said. I'll never read another response to anything I post. Because you were so mean to me. I, I can't believe that. He's, ne he's never going to read another response. He's just going to spew stuff out there and not read anybody's comments on it. So he can be nice and safe and not get his feelings hurt. Okay. I'll never read another response to anything I post. Uh... Let's see, most of you have made it clear that you're not intelligent enough. Oh, so now, now they're, they're not worthy of getting a good man to wife them. But they're not intelligent either. They're obviously not very intelligent like him. I, I wonder, where this, this son of uh, Billy Ray Cyrus, where, did he go to school? Did he go to college? How he, he sounds fairly educated. I don't know, but anybody could sound fairly educated on, in, in text online. Not anybody, Donald Trump can. Anyway, uh, not intelligent enough to make a uh, rebuttal to my statement without verbal abuse and name calling. So his feelings are all hurt because he was called out on this. Yeah. Uh, and an emotional response to my very logical statement. No, it's not very logical. You know, he, he's just, he's saying that that he, he knows for a fact that that people uh, like me. Older people, older men and women are lonely, and it's a much more fulfilling life. And he's all 34 years old. I, I don't know if he has any kids. I doubt he has any kids. He's busy with his band making this music uh, like like Shake It, where he encourages women to shake it and so he could have relations with them. You know, So it's a whole double standard here in the world of Trace uh, Cyrus. I, I keep wanting to say Trace Atkins or something like that because you know, I'm, from, I'm from New England and one country dude is just like the rest of the country dudes. Speaking of that, one of these pictures of uh, Trey Cyrus, he's got a mullet. It looks like an out-of-control mullet. And God, I don't know what is wrong with his face, his nose, and his chin, but I could see why he might have a hard time getting girls. The other picture of him looks fairly handsome, I guess I'd say. I don't know. I could say that because I'm a secure dude. You know, I, I could spot a, I could spot a, that's another thing on here. So he, he doesn't say one word about the men. That are on OnlyFans, so it's apparently you know doesn't, this has nothing to do with that. They could still get good women, you know, because good because women are just looking for men that want to wife them and give them kids and children and fulfill their their empty lives. <laughs> wow, wow! I got so much more I want to say on this. It's got, uh, this is going to be in my head all day. I, I want to do another video on this tomorrow because I'm sure I'm missing so much stuff. I, so, I have so much on this. this. This guy's about half my age, and he's just got it all figured out. Let me know, please, women. Let me know what you think about this. And men, everybody, let me know what you think about this. I'm going camping this weekend. I'm going to do another video shortly. I want to know what you see, want to see when I'm camping. You want to see some cool looking rigs, like camping rigs, REVs? Do you want to see the ocean? Do you want to see uh, people on the beach, men, women? You want me to, you want me to talk to people, get opinions from people? What do you want to see when I'm camping this weekend? Let me know. Have a good Friday.